Welcome to iLector Online. In this video and the ones to come for this particular playlist, we're going to talk about functions and relations and also about the domain and the range. We'll get to that in the videos to come. But first of all, the similarity and the differences need to be pointed out between what functions are and what relations are. And most of the time we deal with functions, but there's a very special restriction for functions and relations are, well, we have more options there. There's more possibilities. They're not as restrictive. So technically the difference is as follows. Here we have drawn a function and here we've drawn a relation. Now a function is a relationship between two variables, typically the independent variable and the dependent variable. The independent variable would be X and the dependent variable would be Y in such a way that for each value of X, there's only one possible value for y. And that is, in, in essence, the definition of a function. Any value of x, there will only be one value for y. As opposed to that, a relation, you could have one value for x that has more than one value of y associated with it. For example, if x is, let's say, 1, if this is potentially the point 1, notice that y could be a positive number and y could be a negative number. Why is that? Because we're squaring y, so it doesn't matter if y is a negative number or a positive number, when you square it, you get the same value, and so therefore for one value of x, you could have more than one value for y. That, by definition, is not a function. That violates the rule and the principle of functions, and so we call those relations, and that's the difference. So when you draw a circle, for example, if you have a function that, well, actually it's not a function, is it? If you draw an equation like x squared plus y squared is equal to 1, for example, well, that cannot be a function because you can take a particular value for x, which gives you two possible values for y. And again, that makes it a relation and not a function. So now we know the difference and we'll find a good way to test for that. For that, we need to go to our next video where we can clearly see how to easily test to, to see whether or not it's a relation or a function. And then we'll take a look at the domain and the range of relations and functions to see how to come up with those. All right, stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that. Okay.